Welcome to a live stream, everybody. Today I'm gonna to be working on a background. We're gonna take it from conception all the way to finish. I hope by the end of the live stream and I'm gonna try and do it as fast as I possibly can. Not a very good start because I was late getting to the live stream, so it doesn't really feel in the spirit of doing it fast, but hey, I'm here now. No more complaints. Let me just adjust the microphone a little bit and say hello to people in the chat. Who has come by? Who's turned up to bully me today? Hey, Monkey Bread. Hey, Special Fish Simon. Hey, Terranium. It's Terranium. Um, I thought you were working, but good to see you, buddy. Good to see that uh, you could make it today. Hey, Kimmy Omega. Hey, Donny Arts. Hey, BJ Chester. Hey, Davi88. Magpie. Hey, Doomsday Clock. Hey. Hey, hey, okay, uh, JS, uh, muck metal face. All right, everyone, um, so this is gonna be embarrassing because Magpie is a really talented artist and she does backgrounds, uh, well, she can do all kinds of art, but I'm sure that like her, we have people in the chat that are talented artists and I'm gonna be kind of compromising to get this done quickly today. This isn't paid work, I'm doing this as a favor, really, for some friends, it's a YouTube channel that I respect and I said I'd help them out with some visuals so I am kind of compromising and doing this thing quickly but um let me put that down to zero you may hear there's a guy out my window shouting can you hear that no he's not doing it now for the last hour he's been going eh, eh, like that um I love it it's it's really enjoyable it's really enjoyable okay so why is that not deleting it? Whatever, let's just delete the layer. Delete, delete, delete. What's going wrong here? Okay, all right, so that's all clear. So, um, no, it's not clear, let's delete that. So, uh, let me just get an idea of the bearing. It's gonna be basically 16 by nine, but I've got a very standard HD reg resolution here, so I'm gonna put it up to be more like maybe two, 5,000 pixels high, something like this, which is the same aspect ratio. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'll begin sketching in just a minute, and we're gonna try and fill this in today really quickly, but I'm gonna be going a little bit slower than probably I could be, because I am gonna to talk to people in the chat a little bit. Magpie says, I literally just woke up because I stayed up all until ungodly hours of the morning to see the latest Owl House episode. I hope it was, uh, hope it was worth it for you. I hope that, hope that, investment in staying up late paid off. Geranium says, is there any particular reason you still do backgrounds primarily in Photoshop? It works. Why would you not do it in Photoshop? There, there may be other software out there, but um, uh, you know, I know how to use Photoshop. I'd have to relearn with other software. Okay, so let me see if I can actually copy and paste some images. This is kind of what we're gonna be drawing today. You may recognize it as a location in a really cool movie. Uh, it's very low resolution though, let me scale that up. This is the castle uh, from Highlander. This is Connor's castle. And in fact, you can actually see that. I think that maybe they only built the bottom half here of the castle and this is all matte painting because you can see the colors don't quite match. That's kind of a purpley reddish color and that's more of a green. So I don't know if we'll work that into the background, but essentially I'm gonna be recreating something like this. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe not uh, exactly. I might get a little bit creative with it a little bit um got another reference here for the cottage there's a little cottage down here and uh, let's just take a look at that it's uh from a bit of a different angle you can see the mossy roof here you can see it's it's there and then you can see it's here from a slightly different angle but we're really going to make it a lot more cartoony obviously than a photographic image so that's what we're drawing i'm going to just shrink that down and i'm going to try and come up with a nice kind of horizon line because this is a nice image but I don't want to just copy it outright I want to do something a little bit more creative so let me just get a nice pencil fat pencil that's a bit too a bit too um, dense but I'll just take down the opacity and let me see now so there's this thing's got kind of a lean to it let me just get I'll get a picture up on my other monitor or we'll draw that castle in so we've got this big Scottish castle like that there's a bit of wood propping it up and it's kind of a little hilly area over here 
and a load of rocks and stuff. And there's some horses and some sheep kind of nobbing around, but we're probably not going to draw all of those. And then there's just a little Scottish cottage, which I would call a Scottage. And that's going to be hanging out around here with just some bits and pieces. Like, I don't know what they got. It's like a campfire and some stables and stuff. So there's this thing. There's the tower castle guy. And then over here, we just have these big mountains, basically, like that. So that's kind of what... Yeah, that basically matches to what we've got. I could have just traced it, but I'm going to kind of do my own thing a little bit with the composition because I want there to be more space on the image. This is a big background that's going to be made for um, several shots of a small animated project, and I kind of want them to be able to zoom in and out of different areas. I could provide lots of multiple layers, but I'm not going to do that because it's going to be a little bit too much work for, for me. So I just think sort of a... A little bit of variation and sort of in the in the levels and maybe put some maybe put some hills no I don't want hills over there actually screw that and then we're gonna have lots of nice kind of cloudy bits around there and sort of around there like that so I think that'll pretty much get the job done I'm not gonna draw in um, sheep and cows and horses and all that look you can see a little Scottish person right there um, I'm not going to add all that little, the, the moving stuff like people and cows and stuff, I'm not going to put that in because you don't typically put things in a background that move. You could probably do that. I know, I actually have a, an, a book about the animated Batman and they talk about how the, the newcomers, the artists, didn't really understand that you couldn't put people in a background. You know, because if they stood still, imagine you're scanning across a party of, I don't know, say like 100 people in Gotham going to the party you, you're gonna have some in the background that don't move so they would have people draw them in or they wanted to i just remember reading that they wanted to and they got told they couldn't but maybe they did in the actual cartoon i say what magpie in the chat actually is a uh, super fan of the animated batman she could tell us if they ever drew characters on background plates um i wouldn't know i've not seen evidence of that in recent memory so mm, who else we got in the chat hello little cartoons um and uh, hey, uh, Samarama, good to see you, Samarama. People talking about all the different things they use, like Krita um, and Procreate. Did I see Procreate? No, Clip Studio. Yeah, I do have Clip Studio. I technically have it, I've paid for it. I just don't use it because I, you know, I, I'm really comfortable in Photoshop, uh, which I, I, you know, I say today and I might just do a terrible job, so. Okay, so I'm going to make this really faint like that and just come in and try and get some of these, these big shapes in. Give me a minute, guy. I'm going to turn on my other monitor here and kind of get some reference for the, uh, for the castle. So it's kind of a purpley gray kind of color. So like that, I don't know. And we're going to make a new layer here. And like that. And make sure that this is 100%. Okay, let me just get things situated. All right, guys, this is going to be as fast as I can possibly do it. All right, all right. So this is going to be big old crumbly, crumbly side of the castle there. Right, like that and this is the other side of the tower like like that and we're gonna put in a big chunk of color like that that's actually totally the wrong color so let me just make that a bit more red kind of uh, something like that and I'm gonna come in here with a darker color this and lock that and just do to do, do like like that okay so now on top of that it has kind of a uh, kind of a squared off tower which is kind of interesting like that and get another of these kind of colors and oh it's dark and I'm gonna make it normal okay um, let's select this one here, put that like that. Okay, so that's part of the tower there. 
and then there's like a little bit of shadow under the bottom kind of of the ridge of the castle there and there is going to be a, another great big tower which juts out it's a jutter it's definitely a jutter because it's jutting it's coming out like this and i kind of don't know it's sort of crumbly up here <laughs> it's all crumbly if, if you just joined me i am essentially creating a photograph uh from a film a moment from a film and um we are having some mixed success so far i'll show you the photo just again as reference in a moment so let's just put that dark area in there all right so i'm creating this castle okay that's what i'm doing that's what harry's up to um it doesn't look very good yet but you bear with him folks he's gonna bob ross it you're gonna think it's terrible and then you're gonna think oh i get it now it looks okay and then i'll do something and i'll make it look terrible again okay you just you just bear with me guys i'm gonna make this look lots of different types of good and bad all over the place all right so that's gonna be the other side of the castle which we can't really see this top corner here is kind of hidden by a rounded turret so i'm gonna darken off darken off that do and this is this is the other wall of the castle which is pretty plain just some chunky notches and stuff knocked out of it and then there's kind of this crappy old tumbly castle wall with pieces missing kind of like that and we'll just color that in da 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 like that i don't have my christine bale soundboard unfortunately today so i'm gonna have to make do with it like that and um let me just put a little bit of the shadow there um uh, it's very hard for me to have the reference images up and also read the chat so i will come by the chat in just a second and see what you're all discussing and let's just see this the rounded turret here like, like this and it's really crummy looking <laughs> uh it's really got pieces missing from it but that I can pretty much replicate. Okay, that's gonna be one of these guys again. And then we're gonna put a few dark lines and stuff across it. So this is all very loose and um, sort of detail free. Let me turn on the pressure sensitivity there. I think that's pressure sensitivity. And that's gonna denote here the rounded bricks. So we'll get some bricks in there. And then these big broken chunks but this is getting to detail here which i don't really want to do yet so all right all right so that's there we go that's kind of the, the beginning of the tower the only other thing i want to put in is that we have on this area here like a big window that's catching a load of light from below so we want more detail than just this but i want to just put that in there so we kind of imply the scale of one of the windows there's not too many windows in this uh in this castle it's kind of uh it's a small it's really just a tower it's like part of a castle um oh there's some steps going up to it too i'll just show you now guys what i'm going to do at this point is i'm going to merge these two layers and show you the image that we're kind of recreating here in a cartoony way so that's the background i'm using here as my inspiration and that's our tower um I'm gonna just add in some steps here. Like here, we've got a little entryway, which I can darken. So really just using those two different tones to create um, all of the geometry of the castle. So do the same thing there with the steps and just imply it there's some steps there kind of leading up to it okay i mean that now if you squint it doesn't look too bad but you want a lot more of the image to go along with it definitely and this is where it's going to start to get fun because i'm going to go in here on another layer and start to create the sort of surrounding highlands of the scottish north so kind of some rocky sort of lumpy rocks i would call them lumpy rocky lumps and then there's one here kind of up by the cottage 
and like that. And this is going to be the beginning of our kind of earth foundations. It's going behind the castle there, which is not really accurate to the picture, but I think that's kind of appealing looking. And we want a really yellowy... No, you know what? I'm going to go with like a rocky blue-gray color. All of this, the nice thing about keeping things in layers, all the major different colors in layers, is you can go and change them later on, so it's no, no biggie there. So, just put that in there. And that's kind of a layer of, of rock that we can go in and detail. It looks a little cloudy right now. I don't really like the way that looks, actually. It's a bit too sort of puffy looking. So I'm actually going to take, I'm just going to go in with a, with a brush here and sort of smooth out some of those areas. But, you know, everything's subject to change. And I just, I'm just coming to a point now where I can come and look at the chat and see what you all are saying and what kind of rotten fruit you're verbally throwing at me. Hey, Joel Mayer with the super chat. Hey, man, I'm sorry I didn't see that yet. Uh, I'm grinding out this background as quick as I can, but Joel Mayer sends the super chat and says, nothing really to say except I just saw that you're animatic. I saw your animatic and really love it. Can't wait for the finished thing. Well, thank you, Joel. Um, if you mean the update video that I put on Patreon yesterday of the, um, the shot of Hogstrong running out of the bar, uh, I mean, it's not the full animatic, it's just it's simply one shot of the whole thing. But um, but thank you, man. I think it's a fun shot, a bit of nice character acting. But uh, yeah, there's still a lot more work to do on the animatic. I really wanted it done in May, but uh, it's going to be bleeding into June. Uh, that is that is what I have to do, though. I have to get it done, because I don't want to start Starbarian Spore. I've done some animation from the finished thing, but I realized pretty quickly, like, no, nah, I really need to get the animatic done. That's a good idea. So, yeah, hopefully I'll get the animatic done in June, and then it'll just be uh, final backgrounds and final animation uh, to get it over the line. Thank you, Joel. Appreciate that. Okay. A doomsday clock. Could you do your Scottish accent for the whole live stream? I hear it's extremely soothing if I talk like this for the whole stream and we talk about the highlands and the places of our dreams that we may one day visit. Och. A little bit, a little bit better than Mike Myers, I think. Alright, so I'm gonna leave that ground layer. I don't really like that ground layer, <laughs> to be honest. It just looks like grey mashed potatoes. I'm getting really confused here with the layers. So... So next up, I'm just, I tell you what, man, I tell you what, just so that I can kind of breathe, I'm going to put another layer on top of that. And this is going to be a green, green grass layer in the foreground. And that will be easy. Foregrounds are always easier to draw. The great thing about drawing foregrounds is because they're, everything's bigger, there's a lot less detail. Kind of, if that makes sense, you know? That makes sense because we're in the foreground, so there's really not much detail that you can actually get. When you zoom in really close to something, you can't see any detail at all. So, so that's kind of a bit too much of a bright green, but I like to go in, saturate it, yell yellowify it, that's a bit more like it. And there we go. And Okay, and I'm gonna actually grab um, the chunky charcoal and a nice darker color, maybe more mix more of a blue in, lock it off, and uh, mix in some texture. So, you know, one thing I like, actually, a trick I can show you guys, is because if you kind of are just implying texture randomly to a flat color, you don't have too much choice over where it goes. But what I like to do is sort of maybe maybe we'll just add kind of a vignette almost. We'll just have like a little bit sort of at the bottom here. Maybe make it a little lighter than that. Let's have a little bit in the corners here. But then we can actually kind of grab chunks. Just grab chunks of land like that. Let's grab like a little here, bit here. You know, it might be just be a little area where the grass is piled up and it's causing a little shadow. Or it could be something else. And... And just add a little bit more now, probably with a smaller brush. You can kind of attack it from a particular side or just do a once over. 
and you sort of create a little bit more variety that way. Uh, it's good to do that on highlights too. Um, I'm not really thinking about where the light source is yet. It's a very overcast, kind of cloudy, Scottish day that we're, we're recreating. So um, yeah, something like that. Just adding a little bit of variety and texture. This is by no means going to be a winner of a background, but like I say, trying to get it done quickly. So there we have it. And I'm going to add like another, another layer actually behind this um, of grass that's a little bit further away from us but not quite as far away as the castle yet so it's something like actually let's turn off that castle layer and be something like this yeah. So, well, actually, I'm going to go up the hill here. That didn't work out. We're going to go up the hill one more time. It's kind of fun. We're just drawing big, big, vague shapes. So it's not too bad. And I'm going to go in and just, let's just do a fill like that. And we'll... Combine that with the layer below. Uh, okay, and I can begin to see sort of, yeah, we put too much definition in those rocks. The the, the rocky ground that's very far away from us. Adrian, uh, the rocky ground that's all the way over there. I just think it's a bit too it's a bit too bumpy and lumpy. So I'm just gonna basically get rid of it and start over with that. Oh no, not that layer, not that layer. Just wanna go in and um, yeah. So this is not all going to be rock, obviously we want to kind of imply uh, that just there's some, as it's going further up the mountains, it's sort of turning a little less grassy maybe. Uh, but let's do this layer first. I am going to, mm, I'm going to go in with a big pastel brush or a charcoal brush, like that one. Slap that on very liberally. And is there a size? Is it this is this size? Is this one? No, I forget in Photoshop. <laughs> this is me boasting earlier about how I don't use Clip Studio because I'm just too familiar with Photoshop. I know it too well, and I don't actually know what a lot of the brushes do. Uh, that's looking very lazily textured there just with that generic texture but I'll uh, I'll try and introduce some interest in a minute um, a trick we talked about earlier of kind of just grabbing areas and, and introducing a little sort of shapes and things I think that works still quite well so let's take that darker darker color and just slap some of that in like like that Okay, that's that's helping a little bit and now I'm gonna do the unthinkable and add a few rocky areas to it So I'm thinking if there's maybe a, a rock here Like that and then a little rock there Just little areas where rocks would be sprouting out and kind of jutting out Like this Okay, and now I can go in there with um, uh, Let's just use, use a really solid fat brush There we go. I'm gonna turn off the rock Behind because it's getting a little bit distracting. Oh, no. Oh, I see what we've done there. The layer was locked So I wasn't drawing beyond the boundaries of the uh, layer. We've already moved down. Okay, cool And now we want to add a little shading to that rock. So I'll just go in with Again, pastel or uh, chunky brush. Just moving the microphone a little bit closer for you guys. Uh, let's go in with the brush and just hit some of these spots. Not quite, not quite that heavy. I guess I'm deciding that the light is 
falling to the uh, like landing on the right side, the shadows falling away to the left from the uh, castle sort of perspective there. Great. Okay, so those rocks have a little bit of shading on them now, and I'm going to go into the select and use inverse, and now we're going to select the outside of the rocks and just drop I don't know, a little bit more shading down there, just so there's some sort of shadow falling away from the rocks. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Well, we're starting to get something that lo looks like a background. I know it's a long way away yet, guys, but fear not. We're gonna we're gonna make it work. Um, let's look at our reference image again. Actually, I should probably have that on top, so I don't have to keep turning off all the all the layers below. Yeah. See, there's not a whole lot to work from, really. It's very flat here. I just wanted to add a lot more shape to it. I guess it's actually greener in the mountains than I thought it was. I remember them being kind of blue and rocky. The one of the two will be a little bit more blue to sort of imply it's in the distance. Geese, I'm not going to draw. So the big geese fans that have come by today expecting to see geese action, I'm going to disappoint, I think, massively. Uh, so yeah, we're going <laughs> to... Bowser has noticed my Harry Fatbrush. That's my name. That's what my mother named me, Harry Fatbrush. Um, yo, okay, so I'm going to turn that off, come back here. And yeah, I guess I guess that is actually that rocky area. Could do with a little bit more a little bit more greenery added. Is there green yeah, there's greenery right up to the castle, so. Let's just go in and start laying laying the, the smack down. Let's lay the grass down. The hell layer is what the fucking layer is it? There we go. I'm going to have a nice sort of mossy kind of something like that. We don't want there to be, we don't want there to be too much grass kind of growing in these rocks or whatever it is, lichen. Uh, it's not very good. <laughs> it's just to give you the general impression. We'll add all the lighting later on. Uh, all right, let's actually add some darker, bluier greens, because I feel like... Oh, that's way too dark. Jeez. Let's take that way down. Um, yeah, that's a bit better. I feel like... Yeah, that those shadows kind of seem to, to work well. So what's this middle layer? We'll go in and add some of these much more lighter though. Okay, yeah, that helps. That helps sort of bring out the layers a little bit. And we'll hit this one back here uh, one more time. All right, so that's pretty good. Um, I realize there's no kind of implication of um, grass or anything. It's all very smooth looking, but we'll get to that. We'll, we'll get to that. This is me trying to do nice and fast work for you guys here. Banging it out. Giving it away for free, literally. Hey, Sonny, I'm giving it away for free over here. Isn't that something the old, the old guy says in The Simpsons? Is that a misremembered quote that I've dreamed up? Can your grandfather do this? Hey, hey, hey! Ah, uh, that's a bit too dark there. Yeah, those shadows are a bit too intense. We want to just... <laughs> Looking like Swiss cheese over here, boys! Um, yeah, that's a Swiss cheesy looking hill. I'll tell you what, we'll just kind of draw ridges. How about that? Ridges will... Ridges is what we need. Just ridge it out. When in doubt, ridge it out. See, a ridge is, is much more appealing than a lump. I told my uh, my Klingon girlfriend, I I would much rather the ridges on your forehead than the lumps. Uh, and then she called me a kachblach. Right, that's better. That's a little bit better. Okay. Uh, right, so what now? Um, what are we thinking? The great big lumpy fat hills in the background. Let's get those out of the way, because that's a nice amount of mass, you know? It's a lot of stuff 
to put on screen. So that's gonna really kind of fill out the picture very, very nicely. Um, I like a big, a big fat mound. This is basically what we're drawing here. Um, what kind of color are they? They're dark and they're rocky, but they're kind of, let's make them a bit more of a muted greeny gray color. We can always change it later on, of course, because pretty much everything's going to be in its layer, its own layer. That doesn't look right to me. Uh, it needs a big lump sort of taken out the side like that. And it's not quite so pointy on top, but... All right. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is create... Let me see. It's a lot greeny brown at the bottom and there's a lot more sort of rocky shapes on top um, so what I'm going to try and do is kind of imply the light sort of hitting the uh, hitting the, the the mountain side here so we, we talked about how the right hand side of the screen is more of a shadowy sort of area what's in that dark shadowy place Never go there, Simba. Um, uh, no, that's not funny, Harry. That's cringe, bro. Okay, uh, let me just see my phone went. Let me see who it is, and then I'll, I'll say hello to everyone in the chat. It's been a little while. Um, all right. Oh, uh, cool. My mom is flying. She just wanted to let me know she's landed. That's good. That's good news. I'd like to know she's landed nice and safe. And we can start laying in some of these kind of highlights on the rock. Like that. So that sort of thing. Got some more kind of highlights over here. sort of still catching the light. Definitely we want to catch the light on the tops there. You know what you call it clouds is that what they they're called <laughs> we'll add some clouds up to the top uh let me just take away some of that all right that looks pretty good i'm pretty happy with that uh it's not got enough of the kind of green uh on it but uh we'll add more of that later now as a, uh, i just want to do the other one first the one further behind it because i want to kind of make sure that we sort of match it stylistically so it's again it's kind of flat Just a big flat lump, basically. Yep, that's sort of the right shape. And we're gonna go and fill it in. Obviously, we want the color to be different so it feels like it's standing out a little bit more than that. Uh, what I can do, actually, is for the time being, I'll turn off the sketch layer and I'll just literally make it a little bit transparent there. I think that will help. Okay. Okay, so we want to go in like this. Mm, let me see. Bowser the Bun says, uh, "Oh, oh, he's okay. We're doing the uh, the old guy from from Simpsons." Oh, Gray Mare, ain't that she used to be? Ain't that she used to be? Terranium says, "Who is this for again?" Terranium, I'm not sure I can actually tell you that. They may be wanting to keep the content of their next video a spoiler free but i will mention it on um uh discord i'll tell you who it's for okay i i don't want to do it publicly for everyone but i'll come back to discord in a little bit and uh i'll explain my my mad workings all right so that's that see that looks pretty good really 
Oh. <laughs> ah, it's a giant brush. That's a that's a god. That's a that's a hairy fat brush. Okay. No, that's still too fat. Jeez. All right. So I'm gonna make it full full pelt there, but I'm just gonna go in and kind of just lighten it a little bit. Not that much. Not that much. It needs to be closer to the real thing still. All right, we'll create some more separation later on. Ah, uh, gee, let me say it's really oh, it's the the weird planks holding up the uh, castle. I guess we'll do that. Um, do this. We'll do that on the castle layer. Why not? Because it's. Actually, I'll do that. that's a little detail. I'll add the little details later on. And now it's really just the cottage that we need to, to get down. So I will come in and make that its own layer again. And let me see. I'm going to bring up, guys, my reference picture so that I kind of have something on the other monitor to, um, to work with. Um, so there's kind of a little lean-to. Jeez, there's like a lean-to thing here. And it's sort of stably, it's a stable shape like that. And then there's just a load of a load of nonsense around here. <laughs> just a load of wooden logs. All right, I'll fill this in with. Uh, fuck it, we'll use the same color as the castle. We'll fix it later on because it's not it's not the end of the world if we do that. And we'll just grab a nice kind of highlight color and come in and hit some of the sort of where the major structural kind of beams and things would be. Uh, sort of that kind of thing. Sort of imply that there's, you know, wooden struts and supports and things on the little cottage. Like that. Okay, um, that, that looks pretty good. Not great, but it, it's okay for a little little background element. And let me see, let me zoom out. Yeah, we'll definitely change the color of some of these elements in a bit. Uh, I guess I'll put in actually there's like a little tower. We'll just do that as well at the same time. It's a smokestack, I guess, a uh, chimney. brick chimney so we want to make it kind of look a bit more square than that ah i'm having trouble with the chimney the chimney looks too wonky all right that's good that's good Um, and there's some other just bits and pieces that I'll just throw in. Um, those planks look way too giant. But there's just little, I don't know, I don't know what you'd call them, just little sort of bits of sort of buckets and stuff, farming equipment, because it's a little farm. So let's just sort of imply that there's stuff happening. Some sort of uh, piles of wood. <laughs> and I'll just make sure I kind of hit these with something. All right. Okay. And now, obviously, I need to do the roof, which is going to be green. It's covered in moss. It's like a big mossy green roof, which is kind of cool. And it's very lopsided, so I'm going to really... Really try and get it to be like that. And again, I'll just use the green that we've already established pretty much as the green of the roof because it's a cool mossy roof. There's moss actually down the side, of, down, down this side too, but I don't know if I'll 
don't know if I'll do that because it might kind of get confusing as to why so much of the house is green. Uh, I will just grab one of these colors and again my chunky brush and just imply that light there hitting the side of it maybe hitting this side and uh, little details like the moss climbing up the chimney and stuff we can come back to I guess what I need to do now is uh, really come back with some kind of skybox for the whole image because we don't have anything like that so let's draw some kind of moody gray skybox it's a scottish highlands sky so it can't look too bright it's got to look pretty bleak in fact um in fact that's way too blue so let's play with it a little bit go to no not vibrance we want um hue and saturation and something it's more kind of it's more blue than that hmm. I want this, it is a cartoon version of the background. I don't want it to be too ugly. Let's take that as the base color because that's a little bit, a little bit nicer maybe than what I was intending. And and I'm going to turn off the uh, the sketch layer because I think it's distracting me. Where is it? The sketch layer. In fact, we'll delete it. We know we don't need it. We don't want it anymore. Save one more time. And though there aren't actually any more visible mountains in the background, I'm just going to draw a few, draw a few in, because uh, I feel like that would that would be nice if we just had a couple of, I don't know, just some sort of, just imply some distant sort of mountains, really far away, and we'll make them very close to the, the color of the sky, because basically, so far away. Uh, all we can see really is mist, you know, hitting the side of them. We're not actually looking at uh, the mountain up close at all. Um, do we need any kind of highlight on those background mountains? Maybe not. I'm going to do one anyway so I can just forget about them and move on. Do one like that over there and there. Ooh. Oh no, and there. There we go. All right, so just very quickly, very quickly hit the, hit the top of those. Kind of like a Toblerone, Toblerone packaging. If you guys have Toblerone where you're from, which I think might be a European only chocolate bar, but it's very delicious. Trust me, it's very delicious. Um, BJ Chester says, were you nervous to show people your work when you were starting out? No, I was cocky from day one. Hey, Gregor the Scots here. Hey, Gregor. Um, thank you for coming by, buddy. Um, Ariane Ikusa says, Harry, is this a personal project? No, this is a favor for some friends of mine that uh, have a really great YouTube channel. I don't really know if I'm at liberty to talk about their project, so I've got to kind of keep it under wraps, but they're doing a video and I'm providing them with a background. Jacob Tucker says, is, is this for Starbarians 4? Uh, it is not, I'm, I'm afraid. Uh, okay, and Fun Cubes. Oh, hey, hi. Hi, hi, Fun Cubes. Good to see you. Hey, Mr. Matimation. And, uh, yep. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's try and finish this thing off. We're trying to do it really fast. It's not a very good background, but it's, it's a pretty fast one, which is, that's the main thing, right? That's the main thing. Okay, so... What is... Let me look out my window. What do skies look like again? Alright. Alright, that's what a sky kind of looks like. Alright, just, just, get, just getting up to speed on skies, everyone. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just blinding myself, looking directly at the sun. Um... No. Uh, no. Uh, no. Something kind of, it's like, so it's lower sort of intensity at the bottom, but less saturated. And we're gonna put the clouds, we're gonna do um, some clouds on a layer behind all the buildings and all the action. No, I don't wanna do that actually. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna build the clouds up, I think. Let's just get, let's get some big pastel shapes. 
and maybe we'll blur them in a little bit, okay? I have some idea. I know this doesn't look good yet, but we'll try and kind of make it work. And if it doesn't work, whose fault is that? Exactly. Jacob Tucker's. 100%. sort of have some shapes behind the clouds. I don't know. And then we'll come in and maybe blur, blur it a little bit. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Something, something like that. I should look at the background. It's mistier. It's darker down here and it's really misty up, up high, but the inverse I want to put some clouds in the in more in the foreground too that overlay the uh, the uh, mountains so Gregor has joined us Gregor is a long friend of myself and what I do over here I was gonna say a friend of the channel but that's not that doesn't really do him justice um, more than that he's a producer he's helped work on some of my more recent stuff and he is also a resident Scottish person so if we need to ask him whether or not this looks anything like the Scottish Highlands we can do that okay all right well I think that's okay for the for the lower lower level uh, clouds I'm gonna go to blur and do motion blur this is weird I'm gonna try and blur it like that kind of Does that look nice I don't know, I sort of want it to look misty without... Eh, maybe it looked better before. No, I, I don't know. I don't know. What about just a big, fat, non-directional blur? Just like a blob blur. What if we do that a little bit, fade it a little bit, and then on another layer, I go in and I kind of add some some sort of highlights I don't know I don't know I don't really like drawing clouds especially not while trying to trying to do it fast BJ Chester says you're a trained singer uh, I am not I just do it f for fun um, <laughs> train him says my dad's a musician yeah but he didn't train me to, it wasn't like come on boy time you learn to sing your tone deaf notes have rung through these hallowed halls for too many years okay father I will come and learn to sing uh, nah I'm not like that no, that looks like lightning or something it looks terrible all right all right so we're gonna we're gonna tell you what we're gonna do when in doubt with clouds Make them flat. <laughs> they kind of look cooler when there's less. Maybe? Well, whatever, whatever. I just want to get this thing done. <sighs> um, yeah. Some of you Oh, my man. No, no, no. All right, so let's just get some fat, some fat clouds. Hanging around in the mountains. These we're gonna have to blur because this looks like shit. <laughs> this looks like I'm seeing something through mottled glass. Looks like shit, bro. All right. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. I apologize for saying bro. I'm listening to people that say it a lot lately. I was thinking today, I went to the gym and I got really tired and I was thinking, you know why I think a lot of people say bro when they're meatheads that go to the gym a lot of the time? It's because when you're tired, when you're kind of exhausted, you just go bro, bro, bro. like you stop taking breaths normally, you stop going ah, ah, like that, you start going just, you kind of, they explode out of your mouth, you go bro, bro, and I think it's a natural inclination that you'd go bro, bro, give me a sec bro, bro. Bro, it's kind of the easiest thing to say when you have no breath. So I think it's just, you know, it's, it's funny how language evolves. And I, I'm doing my uh, my scientific research there on the evolution of jock language. I feel like it's, um, I feel like it's how, how jocks learn to say bro all the time. Kind of looks like they're in motion, these clouds. 
No, I mean, clouds do tend to be in motion, but obviously they're not booking it to the point that you can see motion blur, but I feel like we can kind of make up for that with a few little tricks here and there. I'm going to add actually another layer of cloud. Um, I'm expecting they're going to crop it, by the way, and sort of show a lot of stuff. Where's that? Where's that mountain? I'm going to add another cloud sort of between the two mountains. I think that'll look cool. Move that one down a bit. And let me see now. We'll go add layer new. There we go. Yeah, we want that sort of, just that cloud creeping around. Now in there just a little bit. Okay. And I will come in again and do a, uh, a blur on that. Oh no! like that well let me see now it's starting to come kind of along um, I'm thinking I may let me see what we got we got that foreground shadow or foreground cloud I am gonna do the unthinkable I'm gonna duplicate it I'm going to flip it flip it good and just I just want a little bit of something up there okay just a little bit, and I'm going to rotate it too. And I'll edit it a little bit so that we don't have that distinct kind of little tail on it there. Just want a little, little something up there. And I'm probably going to take this here skybox and maybe add a little, just the beginnings of a night sky or something. In the, whoop, not with that brush I don't. Not with that brush I don't. Just add a little, I don't know, little beginnings of something cloudy coming over the horizon. Something like that. Okay, alright, that's that cloudy sky. Look, this is what we're working with. That's the original, so it's very plain, but I just want something. Something. Um, I'm going to take that one in the background too. Where is it? That one actually and duplicate it again, which is really unthinkable. It's doubly unthinkable. Um, but just 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 stretch it let's just stretch it looks terrible but if I do that and then I make it really barely visible there we go it's just a little bit more texture for the sky and I don't see mist down here but I have a feeling that if we had some mist at the base of this mountain where is it Put it down here. I feel like that would be kind of a cool, cool little thing too. If it just had a little bit. A little bit kind of just peeking in. I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, guys. Um, I am not, like I'm saying, I'm not super into this background but it's getting to the point now where it's starting to come together to kind of a point that I think I could probably probably start applying some details and just finish it off if not off stream um, get it to a point where I'm happy enough to send it off so all right uh, Davi88 says so coming along nicely you are way too generous for me <laughs> you're being way too nice um, uh, Gregor Scott says some rolling fog would look sweet but that could be added in post. I agree. And in fact, that's not my job because that, that'll be the job of the people putting the video together. I'm going to recommend it. It's a nice idea. Hey, Gallo. Um, Harry Ann Akusa, Harry gasping for air ASMR. Yeah, that's me, man. Starbarian's musical would mostly be the screams of dying people, says Teranium. No, it wouldn't be. There'd be real songs. Don't say that, you bully. Novel says, ah, I see that Harry uses the age old technique of not naming the 20 or so layers in Photoshop. Why would I name it? 
Special Fish Simon says it's already, it looks amazing. Oh, thank you, Special Fish. Love you. BG Sam says looks good. Guys, you're being way too nice. This is what we're working from. We're just trying to create a cartoon version of that. I mean, yeah, if this was in the background of a cheap looking cartoon, you wouldn't think anything of it. You'd go, that's a fine background. The only issue is that this is going to be on screen for quite a long time, I think. So I want it to pass muster, I guess. I want it to be a little bit better than that. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to finesse some areas, okay? We're going to finesse. We're going to spend like half an hour finessing. Um, now, because I've only been live streaming for just under an hour. been much slower because I've been talking to you guys. So let's say this is really about 45 minutes of work, 50 minutes of work maybe. I can easily dedicate another 20 minutes to just getting it. This is getting it a little bit better, okay? So I'm just me looking for layers. I can't find them. What were you saying a minute ago about... Not naming anything. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's just—I want to bring that down even more, and let's start. All right, let's start finasterizing. Finasterization process about to begin. Uh, we need to change the color of the house because it's too, too much like the castle. It's too. Too much like the damn castle. And we'll just go in and we'll just start, you know, we'll just start doing some stuff, okay? Because I'll be frank, I'll be frank as well as Harry. I don't like the color, or I don't like these beams. They look like crud. So I'm just gonna kind of imply texture and stuff with by by hiding it. <laughs> I'm gonna imply it by getting rid of it. I just wanna, I just want the the bare essentials of it. Let me see. What, what do you see on the house? You see a uh, load of nothing. Um, We'll go in with the. There we go. We're going with this. That's what we want. We want one of these. Just gonna imply some of that kind of shape and stuff to it. And we'll go in and. Maybe they have a window, you know? Who am I to say? Who am I to say whether or not a Scottish person could have a window? I don't know these things. I bet you they have at least one or two windows in Scotland just at, you know, the major kind of theme parks and things for people to come and look at. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with, with doing that. It doesn't enter the realm of science, fantasy, fiction, made upness to add a little window. All right, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there any other stuff like ropes or anything hanging down? No, not really. Not really. We just sort of just add a little few little bits and pieces there. Some little highlights on these guys. Okay, and now on this this brick chimney here, we'll just sort of add, I don't know, some brick kind of definitions. You know, where you might see bricks. They have bricks in Scotland! Do they have bricks in Scotland? I'm stuck. They probably they've probably seen or heard about a brick. They probably have, have a book that mentions bricks in Scotland. Yeah, all right, there we go. That looks good. Actually, that looks all right. That looks all right. I'm quite happy with that. Just sort of, you know, implying the existence of bricks. We're not confirming them. <laughs> um, uh, BJ Chester says, you excited for X-Men 97. What the fuck is that? The fuck is that? What is X-Men 97? Never heard of it. Is that the cartoons that the new animated series? Because um, it's probably not going to be good. I know they're going to do some sort of return to the the old the OG X Men cartoon, but I'm assuming it's not going to be very good. And we'll just get this is really poor taste, but we're just going to get some of these. So we're going to get the dodge tool. I know, I know it's bad. I know I'm going right to hell for using the dodge tool, guys. But it's just you know. When you're really lazy, it, it does help. <laughs> um, let me put in some more shadowy bits. And now on the layer above, you got the little, the little roofy boy, Rufio, I call him. And we're gonna. Gonna make some change. No, come on, Harry. 
just go to, I just want it to kind of cut in a little bit there. The real roof is roof. The real roof is really lopsided, but the other thing that you can see, we'll go in with that dodge tool again. Forgive me, mother, for the dodge tool using the dodge tool. Thinking I can get away with it. Oh, that's does that look like shit? Yeah, it looks a bit like shit. Um. I'm just gonna go in actually with a brush and do it. Do it with the chunky charcoal. Come on, if you want to imply highlights, don't use a dodge tool, you bum. Do it like that. Do it the old, do it the way the grandmasters did. Do it with Kyle bonus chunky charcoal brush. The way that Da Vinci would work. All right, that's a bit better. All right, what I wanted to do on this is uh, some of these uh, nice loggy bits that were sticking out these little kind of log support bits, which I think look really cool. So I want to definitely make sure I get those guys in. And we'll just do that on the layers as the same as the roof, because why not? And we'll get, why is that not? Oh, it's because it's trying to fill in the, all right. All right, we'll just do that. And we'll just color it in a little bit way too dark that brush we just want to imply a little shading here on the on the little loggies here I guess we'll have a little loggy sticking out there and we can just go in with that light lighter brown there cool all right you see that our house looks way better now I think let me see what you all saying in the chat um LPP says, have you ever met James Baxter? No, uh, never spoken to him or met him. I can't think of any context that I would get even close to the guy, but um, he's cool. Um, he's obviously mega, mega talented animator. Um, someone, uh, sorry, special, special Fish Simon says, as someone who lived in Aberdeen for years, I can tell you there are no windows. They are considered to be too English. I knew it. Do we're not having none of those soft English windows around here. Um, BJ Chester says, yeah, the new version. Oh, talking about X-Men. I mean, I'll check it out. I will check it out, but I don't religiously watch the new Disney Plus anything. I, I've tended not to like the new stuff. Um, I'm from, you know, I'm a man of the past. I like things that came out in the past. But I don't like that much new stuff. And I know that makes me sound old and curmudgeonly. Um, the reason being is that I'm old and curmudgeonly. So that would be the reason. Ariane says, use the burn tool as well. I will, Ariane, just for you. I'll use that burn tool. All right, we're gonna do uh, the unthinkable again. And we're gonna add here, gonna add a little bit more of that mm, mm, nasty green moss growing up there, okay? So I think it looks cool, and I'm pretty sure that there is some on the, uh, on the original. Let me just turn that on. Yeah, you can see, this is some greeny bits. flow down um, you know oh yeah, that's not good you know what you know what we're gonna do we're gonna do something super tacky here we're gonna create a brand new layer uh, where is he where is he where is he where is he <laughs> what all right we're gonna create a brand new layer I'm going to go in with a really big green brush, like that big. It's way too, way too much of it. Ah, there we go. That's kind of what I wanted. Just, I wanted it to be really patchy like that. And then we're going to go to blending options. We're going to make it bevel, which is very cheap, a uh, very cheap tacky thing to do. But if we make the bevel color, bright green and we do that with it and we make this one fuck off because it looks terrible it kind of gives us a little automatic highlight there on the greenery I don't know I don't know it, it's okay it's not too bad it's not too bad I could do with um could do with a few more notches being taken out of this so I'm finessing it now though at a level that I did not intend to I didn't want things to be this 
take this long because like the whole point of this live stream is to get something done super quickly so so that's uh starting to take too long really want to get this done in another 15 20 minutes so that's uh the, okay the castle's the big one man yeah the car oh man see that looks pretty good now i'm pretty happy with that because i want to go in i want to i want to go in and you know like <laughs> um ah all right so so what do we do what do we what do we prioritize i guess the castle Needs a lot of work. Oh, there's a... Okay, there's some stuff. Let's go back to the castle now. I can see there's kind of an area I didn't really do any work on. There's a... Um, let's go back to a solid brush. And we'll just sort of imply... Yeah, there's like a ruined... I don't know what that is, but... Just implying that. Sorry guys, I'm getting messaged through WhatsApp. Um, I'm just replying to my good buddy who I'm seeing in a couple of hours. That's one reason I can't take too long today. Um, is because I'm seeing my, my pal in an hour and a half. Uh, in fact, in fact, let me just mute my microphone. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Just had to update, update the misses on uh, the plans for the evening. So let's get this guy looking as good as possible. All right. So I see, I see we've got some stuff there. Let's just imply a window here, and we'll put a little window in there. Okay, we want one there or somewhere around there. Okay, so there's big cracks. Big stinking cracks there. <laughs> My big stinking crack that I've put in the castle. So we're just gonna keep kind of implying broken pieces of the castle. It's obviously been attacked and tumbled and broken and cracked and all that kind of stuff, so. that no nope, not like that we're gonna make this one here I'm gonna just imply to a few more sort of highlights there hitting the uh, different areas of the castle and hitting the steps here okay so okay it still still looks like crap that didn't really do much didn't do much. All the proportions are quite wrong, but we are we're basically okay with with that for the most part. We don't need the proportions to be completely exact. So I'm gonna have to go in now and do what I don't want to do, which is some sort of brick. I could grab a texture off the web. Can we do that? Actually, is that? No, I won't do that. I'm not gonna get textures and shove in brick textures. But I just have to imply lots of bricks, basically. Could make a brush texture maybe and do it that way but they tend not to have any kind of perspective to them i guess i could put it on a layer above and then kind of correct the perspective as we go those are looking a bit too bright and shiny so we're gonna have to take some of those away they look like stars in the void which we don't want so all right that's not good uh let's go in and do this to this side screw the other side let's try and start off with this side so what are we trying to do we're just trying to get this sort of texture but that is 100 percent that's that's the problem oh this is the stuff i don't like doing it's always the worst part of any background is kind of is texture really because sometimes there's no easy way to do it. Although right now, 100%, I am trying to find an easy way to do it. Because we don't have the time to draw every brick. We only have the time to imply bricks, which is what I'm trying to do. It's what I'm trying to do. 
trying to, this, this man's trying to imply bricks like there's no tomorrow. Tell you what, man, I'm just gonna literally make one stroke of brick like that. Let's see how that looks. Does that look anything better than what we had originally? Zoom out. I mean, yeah, I think that does help. Uh, that definitely does help. I could spend a lot of time finessing it and adding bricks to every part of the building, but um, but I'm not gonna do that because we don't have time. Instead, I'm gonna highlight certain areas with a warmer, warmer streak and try to add some detail that way. That feels like an easier way sort of bringing some of those some of those details in is just sort of hitting the bottoms of windows so hitting particular parts of the castle that might catch the light maybe we can get some sort of value out of that kind of practice I'm sure people in the chat are telling me things that I need to be looking at to be a good host on a live stream, but I'm caught up in the fact that I'm trying to wrap this bad boy up. Okay, I'm saying I'm not going beyond six. I cannot go beyond six. It's now uh, five thirty-five in uh, Britain, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go, I got 25 minutes to really do this, and uh, I've turned my fan off, and it's hot in my office, and I'm sweating balls. But you don't need to hear all that. You don't need to hear all that griping and belly aching. You just want to see a passable background get finished by the time I call it quits. I mean, background, you know, castles are not shiny typically. But um, what I will do is get a big, big light brush. Totally not like that. And just sort of, I don't know. Put some color, like I don't know, just something, just something. I feel like it's a bit too solid right now. We're gonna add that that green. What is that down there? Is that a cart and horse? Maybe. Can we can we draw a cart and I might draw a cart and horse, or at least the cart part, just the cart part, because that feels like something that they would have, and that kind of adds some detail, and it's easier than just noodling on, on bricks for the next couple of years so uh what i'm gonna do is um i'm gonna imply a light coming from down here because that seems to be something that's in the original so we want like a golden orangey light light mr simpson uh just something sort of emanating like there's some kind of you know there's there's a a little Scottish party happening down there or something. I don't know. And oh yeah, they got these these, these big beams holding it up. I like these little highlight bricks. I want to add a few more of them, but that's very cheeky. It's very cheeky because I'm running out of time. I'm just going to do one or two and then I'm going to do the little wooden plankies holding up the castle or whatever they're doing. So it just seems to add a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, cool. All right. What are you saying in the chat? Hey, Kerbals. Um, hey, Davy Kirkham. Um, hey, uh, anybody else? Hey, P-O-U-S, Paus, Paus the Moco. You nail it, dude. <laughs> uh, BJ Chester says Harry's version of hell is working on Brickleberry for eternity. Ah, no, <laughs> no, not really. Um, I mean, my version of hell obviously would, would be something much worse than that. Um, you know, Brickleberry. It's a job, you know, I don't really have a problem with it. So I'm gonna add a few more, a few more little, little dark lines to this. It's not supposed to be so strongly in shadow, but I don't know, I'm tempted. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know, Harry. Why don't you, why don't you fucking do something else? Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd rather work on Brickleberry than go to war. 
Sorry for answering it all straight and boring. <laughs> Not making a joke out of it. <laughs> just being like, no, I, um, no, I, I, I would, uh, I'd be okay with that. Actually, it's not too bad. I would be bored, probably, but I would try and make it good. You know, I try and do everything I could to make, to make a show. If I was working on a show I didn't have any time for and didn't appreciate, I would do everything I could to try and make it good. You know, or, or I'd just take a paycheck. I'd just take a paycheck and give up. Okay, so those are the, the wooden plankies there. Um, I guess that should probably have been, whatever, I'll, I'll do it on the level in front. All right. gap down there is bothering me so one thing I will do actually it's a bit tacky but because because I said that the, that the bottom of the castle is so green what if what if duplicate that on top of the castle. What if we add a little bit of moss to the bottom of the castle using our cheeky moss technique from earlier? That could work, right? That would create the, the greenness of the castle and add some detail. Is there moss at the castle? I don't know. I don't know, but I feel like that could kind of be a fun thing to do. Doesn't feel totally, totally wrong. Big chunky charcoal. It's way too much moss, Harry. That's no, way too much moss. We'll take the flow right down. Ah, oh, this is just gonna look bad, I think, probably. It's too, way too bright, obviously. Obviously way too bright. Um what if it only clung to this wall? Um, it's not terrible, but it's um, it's obviously way too bright. So let's rasterize it and go to adjustments and take it down, way down. Ah, that's okay. I think it gives some interest. It's quite fun. All right, so we need to do this uh, these planks that I fucked up a minute ago. Sorry for all the bad language today, guys. It's I'm actually going to turn my fan on because I'm I'm getting quite hot. It's uh, the the later the day gets, the more my office uh, heats up, and it's going to be that time of year. I don't have the uh, air conditioning turned on yet, so I would turn that on, but it's pretty damn loud. So okay. Alrighty, so let's just put some highlights on those. Now, one of them is a little bit too thick. A little bit too thick there. Okay, so 20 minutes left, absolute maximum. So I should pick up the speed a little bit. Like that maybe for that, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna try and draw a little, I don't know what a horse and cart really looks like. I'm not gonna draw the horse, but I'm thinking I could probably draw something like this some sort of wheel a thing with wheels <laughs> and 
and a thing of, made of wood. That's not really, I don't know, it just looks like a piece of generic kind of farm equipment, something you might find on a farm. And I'm just gonna imply a little bit more detail than there is with this and this and strengthen that up a little bit. You're looking a little bit, a little bit shit there, Harry. Just a little bit too bad. And get these, get some highlights on there again. That's what I meant to do a minute ago. Why is that not? Oh, I did that on the wrong layer. Wow, where that, where those highlights come from? Okay, they're down there for some reason. All right, weird. I don't know. This is this is looks this is obviously drawn very quickly, but I wonder if it can just sort of get dropped in there. Hmm. see what it is is a completely pointless waste of time very possibly mm, I think it looks better as a silhouette against I'll make it smaller because it's so ugly ah! <laughs> oh why did I, I should have labeled these layers but it's not like I have time to read them it's not like I have time to read them okay so why, la why label them? Why name them? I'm gonna make it a little bit more see-through because of how uh, we're applying it's far away or something. It's like a much bigger, but uh, it just looks like a tumble-down crate or something. I tell you what, I, I know what will justify my anger at wasting time drawing a terrible looking horse and cart that doesn't have a horse and isn't a cart. Uh, if we just copy it and paste it a few times and then I won't feel like I've wasted quite so much effort because I feel like that way <laughs> uh, that way just looks like I don't know, some bits and pieces and stuff in the in the background around the castle. So um, we've got a lot of layers now. I think the next step is to finesse some of these some of these rock and ground layers that don't look too hot. So what I'm gonna do is basically grab everything that's not sky and not mountains and not cloud we're gonna make all of that one layer okay because I'm pretty damn happy with that stuff and this stuff still needs work I'm going to tell you what I will do. The sky can all be one layer because I'm pretty happy with that. No, not merge visible, merge, merge layers. And maybe we're going to filter and see if we can add some sort of, uh, some sort of filter to it. Um, I don't know, to make it a big, I like to add kind of a grain to big skies. Um, can I zoom out? Oh, frig you zoom out. Eh. Oh no, that's got the little mountains. Okay, we can't do that because of the mountains. Doesn't matter. What's happening there? Doesn't matter. That's all good. Okay, so... Alright, I'll tell you what. It's really just the grounds and the rocks. Um, it's just the grounds... The, the ground and the rocks. Uh, the rocks being the mountains. Um, so I'm gonna... 
gonna play with these guys and try to quickly get them up to code because frankly they don't look very good frankly they don't look very good at all i don't think and we want to sort of imply a lot more detail without drawing it which is going to be a challenge for me i will come and read some stuff from the chat in just a momento because obviously i'm gunning it now absolutely gunning it let me see Gregor says maybe add desperate dan eating a cow pie banana man flying overhead uh, uh Gregor is dropping some references to the world of uk comics there if you guys know about desperate dan a banana man then you're in a very cool and uh increasingly dwindling club an exclusive club by the way Gregor, you don't have to come to this stupid live stream by the way i know you said you try and make it but what a, what a worthless way to spend your time uh that goes for all of you by the way i uh, just just please remember that my own endorsement of my live stream channel is uh that this is a, a worthless waste of your time okay kind of wonder what you're all up to hopefully you're, you're double tasking you're getting on with some work you know you're playing a game or something you have something that you're up to while i'm doing this utter utter dismal background you have some kind of uh benefit that you're adding to your life by another activity because you know, frankly it couldn't be this You know, I've added all that, all those, I actually want some, some much less light lines. There we go. Something like that. Something like that. There we go. Yeah. Chio says, I exclusively watch you while drawing myself. Good. Yeah, that's, I mean, I, I often have stuff on in the background while I'm, while I'm drawing. If I don't have to really be super creative, if it's not writing or, you know, trying to sort of pl plot, plot specific moments of animation out in great detail i like to put on a podcast or some news or something like that uh, i rarely watch it's maybe only while i'm having dinner or something that i watch something completely 100 percent focused on it um you guys probably are similar in that regard um okay so i think those i think those mountains look a little better now got a little bit more going on maybe you can add Maybe I can add a few kind of, I don't know. A few bits of lichen or something. A bit of moss or something on the rocks. Don't really want to keep adding moss, but I think it helps. No, I don't like those highlights. I feel like they look too big they look like foreground rocks and they're supposed to be really far away um that's not good obviously we don't want that that to be the case shrink them down a little bit and now they don't really disappear into the mist which is what i wanted so hmm hmm what about this guy back here can we make him a bit smaller if he's not supposed to be disappearing into the mist yeah, maybe. Yeah, I just really want to... Yeah, okay, cool. Cool work on this one. Now. Yeah, I want to apply as much variety and sort of detail in there as possible. But, man, it's, it's tough when you're pressed for time. All right, let's see. Is, he, is the layer locked? Good, the layer is locked off as far as the... What do they call this one? I use it all the time. Lock transparent pixels. There we go. Yeah, I use that guy all the time. Bowser the Bun says this. <laughs> Hang on. I'm waiting for my trailer to be unloaded. That is a waste of my time. I got excited there for a minute. I thought, oh, your trailer. Like, what are you putting out, my dude? And I'm sorry. You meant it in a real world. A real world sense of uh, an actual physical object known as a trailer. Yeah. Sorry, my guy. I thought you. I was like, oh shit! Bowser's comic is is ready to drop, and he's got a he's got an animated trailer. That's really exciting. Maybe one day that'd be a cool thing to have. I think if I do a comic, I'd like to have some kind of trailer for it because um, you know, 
You want to get people hype. As hype as you can. Um. Just make that whole mountain smaller. I don't know. <sighs> okay. All right. How, how are we doing for time? Oh, seven minutes. Oh, you. 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 Seven minutes. <laughs> Seven minutes. Okay. All right. We gotta do something, something with these damn rocks. Can I? Can I just slap a load of green on there and call it, call it lichen? Should we do our little, our little technique again with the with the moss? Let's see if that works. All right, so we're gonna get a really sparse brush, put the flow down very low, we'll make it large, very low. You know, maybe, maybe I don't even need to do the, the, the effect on it this time. Maybe that's too much. Let's just, nope, oh, no, we damn it. Oh, I put it on the same layer. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We want it to be on its own proper little layer, little baby layer for it. Okay, something like that. And then we're gonna go in and really try to darken it. Oh man, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I think that actually adds a lot of a feeling of. T mm. Let's just let's try that blending fi thing because it, it sort of looks. Ho oh, ho! <laughs> That's not it. Ah, uh, the bevel and emboss. Yeah, let's just add. Let's just let's do way less though. Way less. I think that actually is pretty good. I think that actually adds a good kind of value for value for money, if you know what I mean. You know, very little effort there. Let me add a little bit more. He's getting moss greedy now. This boy's gone moss mad. All right. Yeah, see, I think, I think that's pretty, yeah, it makes it look close. It makes them look close and not very far away, which I think is a problem, but, but I also quite like the way it looks. I don't know, I, hmm, hmm, I will, I will, I will uh, defer to what you guys think and then ignore it because it's going to take too much work to, to undo, so. Let's just let's put a little bit back here. But this guy has kind of been played with a lot. I don't know if it's a good idea to mess with this guy too much because of how misty he looks, but... Just to imply a little bit growing up there. All right. I, well, hey, one more thing we're going to do. I'm just going to add... This is just a, a simple little trick just to sort of imply a little bit more texture than there is. I'm gonna get a nice bright brush and we're gonna find... Okay, we are we are using the chunky charcoal. There was one that I liked. Wet media brushes? No. Special effects brushes? That was it. Kyle Spatter. Yeah, that we, this one. I'm gonna find a really low flow. Oh, if I had all the time I wanted, I can just I would grab just specific areas that, that I think would it would look better in, but Oh boy. 
Oh boy, right, something like that. Da, 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 like that. And come in and just, just, just hit them. Just give them some, some speckles and some, something like that. Is that no, it's, no, it looks like shit. <laughs> uh, maybe higher flow, but much lower opacity and a smaller brush. Yeah, I should probably just be doing that by hand, honestly. That's kind of a waste of time. Let's just go with a little, just a tiny little brush, and I'll just add a little few little nicks and chunks and that kind of thing. That's all I wanted. I just wanted a few little, little interesting, little rocky, you know, little details, really. Just little specks, just to kind of imply that it's, you know, rock. Like that. All right. So I don't think I don't think that looks too good. I think it looks way too way too obnoxious and it stands out too much. So I'm gonna go and undo a few of those. All right. Okay. Um. All right. Last the last thing I'm gonna do on these forsaken rocks is I don't feel I spent enough time outlining this guy's shape. So I'm just gonna eat into him a little bit. Nom 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 like that. Just try and create a more natural kind of, I don't know, just a little bit more of some fine details in there. I think that's pretty good. I think that helps. I'll just cut that bit off of there because I don't like how, I don't like how pokey that is. All right, that's it. I'm gonna leave those rocks alone. I think they're the weakest part of it, but I've never been very good at, at really quickly drawing nature. I have to look at it for a long time and anyway. Anyway, okay, so the last thing now in the final, <laughs> I have one minute left. I have one minute left until it's 6 p.m. So um, I'm just gonna go in and where are we on this layer here? I just want to add some highlights. Don't give me that crap. Just let me add some highlights. There we go. It's way too strong a highlight really, but There we go. Yeah, I just don't want to neglect this layer because it, it looks a lot more neglected than the layers kind of around it. And I just want to imply lots of sort of bumps and, and crags and stuff. go in and and just break it up a bit break it up just a little bit you could do this you could just noodle on it forever but what's the layer above doing not a whole lot okay like just add a few kind of that and then I've got I've got one more round of just finessing and noodling that I want to do. I really want to add blades of grass and all that kind of stuff, but you know, fortunately I got my buddies coming over here now in less than an hour. I got stuff to do. I got to move on with my projects. I got to wrap up the live stream. I haven't said anything to the chat now in 10 minutes. I'm so sorry. So sorry, you guys. I'm just in rude, rude head down work mode here. And we're just gonna very, very quickly just go in and hit some of these rocks, okay? 
Oh boy. Let me see what people are saying. Paus the Moco has got the, the timer, the sand timer, thank you. Sleep with the Sword says, Harry, have you seen the pilot of Korgoth of Barbaria? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Long time ago. I'm sure it was uh, very influential for me. Um, I can't remember if I saw it before or after I did anything related to Starbarians, because I have Starbarians drawings going back to 2007, but I certainly am not going to try and deny it, because I, I very may, very well may have done. Um, I may have seen it before I did anything Starbarians related. So let's just put him in there, put him in there. So I could just take, just take forever to do this stuff, but gotta, gotta move on. Inevitably, when it comes to backgrounds, the bits that you don't spend any time on, those are the bits that you end up seeing in the cartoon. That's where all the close-ups are, <laughs> which is great. All right, and we're just gonna go here on the layer above. And I am just gonna go in and literally just imply grass. I know that's the most boring thing ever, but... I just want there to be an implication of the little blades of grass here and there. Because it's the grassy old highline, high, highlands. Uh, and we have to... You know what? Maybe we can bring back... Maybe we can bring back the old spatter brush to do something just to speed it up a little bit. Kind of get select those zones like I was showing you earlier. Let's have a little highlight zone, but where it feels like there's some shape to it. Yep, that I should have been doing that from the front. I should have been doing that the whole time. Oh well, I forgot. Yeah, this technique is just kind of grab areas where you feel like there would be highlights. So rather than just have, you know, a big big load of nothing like this feels like a sort of a little ridge here or something see so we'll leave it there in the middle and we'll have a little bit there and a little bit hitting it over here all right oh, uh, that's a little bit too uniform there maybe And what's really nice when you're doing grassy grassy hills and grassy knolls, other than JFK brain matter, I am sorry, that was a tasteless thing to say. The thing you want to add is, I think, actually let's add a little bit, let's just add a little touch here and there. Let's just add a little bit coming up there. The thing that I like to do is add some white, some little white blobs because those would be daisies growing and I don't see any daisies in our reference image. There's probably some, but I don't see any and I want to add some just purely for the sake of, I think they're very pretty, I think they have a kind of a nice meadowy sort of look to them. I don't know, something about a white a little white daisy that just sort of implies a, a nice kind of springtime vibe. Let's lock that up. All right. All righty. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no time. No time for daisies. No time. Just get one more, one or two more things. We'll just get some of these. I love this. I love it when you can do this. It's always fun. And you just have, just imply strands, you know, in the dark areas where it's all dark. All right. All right, folks. All right, folks. You may not even be able to see those, but there's just little, little bits of grass there just growing in the shadowy areas. Just little implications there. Little bits and pieces. All right. 
Well, there we have it. There it is. There is my Highlander uh, uh, background based on this one from the film, but I took some artistic liberation, uh, or liberties rather, and I would say that that took me all in all an hour and a half, um, an hour and 40 minutes, but I, I was talking, so I think it probably came to more like, I don't know, an hour, an hour and 20 minutes work. But yeah, um, I'm not absolutely in love with it by, by, any, by any definition, but we had to get it done. Had to get it done. That is the world's most purple castle. Well, let's, let's take down the saturation of the castle just a little bit before I call it. Maybe make it more of like a reddy color. I don't know. Oh, it's all the same fucking layer. <laughs> let's just make that castle just a little bit, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's good purple. Maybe I shouldn't mess with it anymore. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. I'm gonna call it done, guys. And I am gonna I'm gonna um I'm gonna add more shadows <laughs> to these areas because I don't like the lack of contrast. I like contrast in an image. Oh boy, it'll never be done. It'll never be done. No, it's way too blue, way too dark, way too bad looking. Alright, you know what guys? I gotta go. I gotta be done here. I gotta run. So, thank you to everybody that came by today for quite a frantic live stream. I worked really as quick as I could. My hand hurts. If that's any consolation. I wanna say thank you to BJ Chester, Sketchy Times TV, Pals the Moco, Fun Cubes, Gregor, uh, Sabola Hat. Thank you for coming by. Um, we got Davi88, we got Gregor, of course, I think I already said Gregor. Bowser the Bun, he had to take off earlier, but um, hey, Geranium says it's good to go. So, um, <laughs> he said the castle is tilted. Geranium, the castle is very much tilted in this image too, I think. I think. <laughs> All right, maybe I, maybe I exaggerated it a little bit too much. Maybe, maybe a little bitty accidentally. Maybe that castle can be tilted a little bit bit this way oh what's what's that but I do have to go because I have to shower I'm smelly I went to the gym this morning I showered this morning but I need to shower again I need to shave got a buddy coming over got to order food we're gonna be Resident Evil again uh, we gotta go I gotta go so so I'm off I've tilted the castle back slightly so it's kind of I think acceptably Except acceptably quirky. I'm not sure. Let me look at it flipped. Image. Rotation. Ah. I'll be honest. Oh no, that doesn't look good because of the, the fuck the thing up. You know, guys, I'm going to noodle with this off stream. But I'm calling it done now on the stream. Thank you, everyone, that came by today. Sleep the sword. Com, uh, Sonic 2 director's commentary. No, I haven't even seen the film, so I haven't, certainly haven't listened to the director's commentary. Um, who else? Bean Light Games. Hey, Bean Light. Um, you all take care, everyone, and have a good one. I'll be back for a less frantic, crazy stream sometime next time, whenever that is. Bye bye.